Giants offensive lineman Jeff Schwartz. Who's he by? McLean Food Service? Yep. Okay. Giants offensive lineman Jeff Schwartz. Thanks to McLean Food Service with Armin in the back. Uh, Schwartzy, we saw you on Sports Center on Sunday. You were very vocal in saying that you wanted Tom Coughlin to stay. What are your emotions now that he has left on his own? You know, it's a very uh, kind of surreal feeling, I think. You know, you hear kind of that he might leave and and uh, you never really think it, it's going to happen. And then, you know, we had the team meeting with him in the morning. And, you know, he's not going to tell us what his plans are. I'm not even sure if he knew what his plans were going to be. And then all of a sudden, you know, you, you see a tweet and, and he's out. So uh, it's always kind of, I don't know, it's, it's weird when they when you get rid of your coach, you know, any, any place. But even more than it's Coach Coughlin, when I signed here, I figured that I would, you know, he'd be my coach. And uh, now things are changing. And, you know, we, we didn't get the job done. We didn't win enough games, and I'm not sure if it's totally coach's fault. Uh, probably isn't, but uh, we have to, um, you know, you have to win games to, to keep your coach. Schwartz, what, what did uh, Tom Coughlin say to the team yesterday? You know, he thanked us for our effort, um, which, I, you know, I've said all along, is that you know, we were losing games, but it had nothing to do with, with our effort. Uh, he thanked us for our dedication, um, and, you know, we, we all know that, the season didn't end like we wanted it to, and that was about it. It was really a short meeting, uh, you know, a couple minutes. He kind of gave us a schedule for off season, and then um, you know that was uh, that was the end of it. So the, in the room, it, it, was it emotional? I mean, did it feel like it was imminent that he was leaving? Anything like that? Yeah, you could tell by Eli's comments and you know, just the video of him in the locker room afterwards that you know it was emotional for him. And it was like I said. It's, it's a it's a weird feeling. I mean, you're disappointed that your coach is gone, but you're disappointed also that you didn't play well enough to keep him. You know, um, in the end, it comes down to a lot of times what we do on the field, but, and we didn't do enough to to keep coach around. Were you surprised that Coach Coughlin walked away? I honestly, I don't know, man. Um, that's, that's something that, that he's going to have to cover. I really, I had no idea. Really, I really didn't, didn't know what he was thinking. What? So it, it didn't shock you personally. Like, were 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 you personally prepared for for Tom Coughlin to say, you know what, I'm I'm good and I'm walking away? No, I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't know what was going to happen. I mean, I you know, with all this stuff, there's some places where you know your coaches. You went three and thirteen, or you went four and twelve. It's been that way for three years in a row, but. The way we lost some games this year, that we were so close in a lot of situations. You know, we yes, we missed the playoffs again, um, but I felt like that our team was much better than last season. We just didn't finish those games. So you just really didn't know what was going to happen. Giants offensive lineman Jav Schwartz has joined us all season, joins us all year long, and uh, and the ups and the downs. And this one does seem like a down uh, today, reacting to Tom Coughlin leaving. He had his press conference earlier today. Uh, Jeff Schwartz, how will you react? How will you feel if Tom Coughlin is a head coach on another team next year? I wish him the best. Um, you know, it's not, it definitely is. He's definitely not retiring. I think you see that for this press conference. Um, I, and I definitely think that there will be teams interested in And um, he, you know, he definitely has energy to play coach, so I wouldn't be surprised if, if he does end up coaching. But, you know, I mean, it's, I wish him the best of life. Jeff, when, when this whole season, the story seems to be fourth quarter, you know, the losses in the fourth quarter, you yeah. know, it's coming up a lot now. Who who do we point the finger at for these fourth quarter losses? It's got to be on us. We're the ones that can execute, you know. I mean, there are lots of times – we drove down the field and scored and, and didn't hold them. There were times where we were driving down the field and had a bad red zone turnover. Um, that's not coach's fault. At 69 years old, why does Tom Coughlin still work in the NFL as head coach? He loves it. We love him, man. I mean, he's a great motivator. You know, it's funny, my brother's in town. Uh, we're doing something today, and uh, we watched a press conference together, and he'd never really heard coach talk before. And about halfway through, I said, you see why – the guy motivates us still, and he's like, yeah, I can see why. You know what I mean? So he's still got it. You know, he's been here 12 years. That's a, that's a long time. And it seems that, you know, by the by the comments today, it just was time to, you know, time to move on. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll go in a different direction, and uh, we'll hire a good coach, and we'll get ready to go next year.
Give us an insider's take. How revealing was Tom Coughlin publicly today? How much was that like it is inside the locker room? Well, everything he said about the way he conducts himself, the way he expects us to act, the way he expects us to be his men is exactly right on line with everything he's told us. So nothing was really different. Uh, You know, you saw a little sense of humor that he had with the reporters. He shows that to us. Um, And you can see how passionate he is about football, about the Giants, about being good men. And um, he shares that passion with us as well. Schwartz, when when you look at this situation, uh, Tom Coughlin obviously loved by the team. Is it a little shocking that the head coach is out, but the general manager keeps his job in this situation? Uh, that's not really uh, my concern very much. Uh, I don't really deal with the front office very much. Um, I deal with the coaches, and um, you know, it's hard to really comment on that. I know you don't you don't deal with it, but that, that as a player that never goes through your mind. But man, if we had more personnel here, if we had more depth here, I mean, you really. really... Had, I mean, we had we had think, 21 guys on IR. I mean, that's an issue. That's not. I don't think you can say that that's any one particular person's fault. Um, and, you know, we got we got injuries. It happens. We get finish games, and that's I don't know whose fault that is either. But um, you know, it's not really a, it's not really my job to assign blame to, to problems that we've had. When you all right, so here's the question. I, I you you obviously you know just still dealing with Tom Coughlin being there. One of the potential candidates is Ben McAdoo. In your experience, is he ready to be a head coach in the NFL? Yeah, Ben did a good job last year. The offense is coming along even through injuries. I was seeing you know we were out, out a lot of guys and Eli's playing some of the best ball he's ever played. He's completing the ball to high percentage. You know we're, we're functioning well as an offense, and I really seen Ben grow the last two years. Um, you know I really don't know what makes a good head coach. You know, there's many different styles have succeeded in the NFL, and uh, that's up to, you know, our committee who's ever searching for a new coach to, to decide that. Uh, but Ben has really shown a lot the last two years. Giants offensive lineman Jav Schwartz, thanks to McLean Food Service. Uh, you mentioned Eli has done so well these last two years, two of the best statistical years he's had under Ben McAdoo. Should we have any concern if he is not in a Ben McAdoo offensive coordinated system next year? Well, I don't know. Eli is an exceptional quarterback. I'm not sure not what system he's in, but I feel like you know, we're just getting the offense rolling. It's in the second year. We put up some good numbers. Our run game started going the whole season, and it would be nice to keep the um, you know keep it the same. But it's not the way the business works. You had an eventful weekend, and we'll get to that in one moment. But my final question on this topic with Tom Coughlin: uh, over these last forty-eight hours, as of today, right now, Tuesday evening, what are your emotions? What are your feelings that you're going through right now with Tom Coughlin leaving? Um, you know, I'm disappointed that, that uh, you know, we didn't do enough to help coach keep his job. Um, you know, when you change coaches, everything changes, you know. So, you know, a little anxious to see what the future's going to hold, who we're going to hire, you know, what happens from here on out. You know, there's always personnel changes when coaches come in and the culture change. So, uh, you know, a little, little anxious to see, you know, how we're going to proceed. Uh, now, this is probably the most painful question, and, and I, I apologize in advance, but... How bad did it hurt watching that second half of the Oregon game? <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, geez, we were – it was embarrassing, you know. I mean, first of all, our backup quarterback is not very good. I mean, he hasn't played well this season. We've lost many games with him in, but we couldn't even get a snap to him. And we didn't even give him a chance, and, and we just didn't run the ball enough. We only gave our running back eight touches in the second half. I mean, that's just not acceptable. And it felt like when it started, as soon as Vernon Adams went out, we just had no plan continue and it's disappointing to watch but we just needed one or two more first downs one score in the second half and we win and we did nothing we just put up a donut we had 19 yards in the second half it's just not acceptable for an Oregon team who was rolling up 31 nothing to just, to just put a goose egg up and you made you made the the fifth year senior there the quarterback for uh for TCU like a folk hero like he'll never pay for a beer in Texas again I know and we were and we were shut, we shut him out the first half so um just not not well, and you know they demoted the defensive coordinator back to linebackers coach, and I don't know if that's going to make a difference. But uh, you know we have to we have to find some quarterback depth. You know we we play a spread offense where a quarterback gets hit a lot, he's going to get injured, and we need to find someone who can be a competent you know a, a, a competent backup who can at least complete the passes. Jeff Schwartz, Giants offensive lineman. Thanks to McLean Food Service. We saw you on Sports Center Sunday, man. You were at Bristol all day. How was that? How was it up at uh, up at the mothership? 
Oh, it was a, it was a great experience. It was it was unique. It was uh, pretty cool to you know I've been doing a lot of TV stuff lately and, and radio, and it was nice to try my hand on nationals you know show. And a l- little early on, I was a little nervous. I didn't really know what to do with my hands when I stand. I learned, yeah. um, and then uh, you know just we continued, and I thought it went it was great. It was a fun opportunity, and uh, you know, unfortunately, I wasn't able to play, but I was able to at least talk football. You know what I noticed that with your hands. You know what you need to do? Just let your hands tell the picture. Put your hands out there, Schwartzy. Let you, be no, you're, you're supposed to put your hands, when you stand, you just put your hands down. And when you talk, you can use them. But I would have right. my hands up, but I wasn't talking. Oh, okay. Kind of like almost like you're praying, like in a praying stance, like waiting for yeah. them to throw it back to you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's not good. Yeah, okay. More importantly, will you have your hand out when your brother signs his new contract this year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm trying to get some of his. I'm trying to be his manager. Get, get a percent percent of that contract. No, I'm I'm proud of him, and I'm excited to see where he's going to end up. He's really, you know, he'll, he's earned every cent he's going to get. For those that don't know, uh, Jeff's brother Mitchell is an offensive lineman for the Browns, and he's a free agent this offseason. He had a great year this year, so he will uh, be cashing it over the next few months. Jeff Schwartz, Giants offensive lineman. Thanks to McLean Food Service. At Jeff Schwartz, he's all over social media. Hit him up anytime. He's on Twitter, Instagram, JeffSchwartz.com, Facebook as well. Schwartz, tell us what we can expect from you on the digital side this offseason. Uh, you know, just continue. I started a podcast uh, that's up every week. Uh, I'm moving it to iTunes hopefully soon. It's called Block Em Up uh, with Jeff and Dude, so it should be up pretty, pretty soon on iTunes. You can find it on my Twitter. It's pinned on top of my Twitter. And, uh, you know, just continue to discuss, you know, sports, life, whatever it is. Uh, hopefully my website will pick up a little bit more. And uh, but right now I'm just focus on my podcast. So it's pretty fun to do every week, you know, maybe end up twice a week. And, um, you know, it's a, good, it's a good way for me to express myself. Jeff Schwartz, Giants offensive lineman, and uh, LeVac and I proud to call him a buddy as well at this point. And uh, Schwartz, we'll uh, talk to you again next week. We'll, I'm sure you'll be in Santa Clara. We'll hang with you at the Super Bowl. And I'll be there. Yeah. I, know, I know it's been a tough week, man, so uh, enjoy a little R&R with your brother, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, talk to you later.